Shalom, uh, good morning. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, releasing this word uh, for today. This word for this particular month or this particular season. Welcome to you. Thank you. And welcome, welcome to my broadcast. Thank you for joining us uh, this this morning. So glad. Um, so I want to uh, just uh, thank you for coming on. And um, I wrote a word, rather, I don't, and I, of course I, I call them words, but they're more like prophetic forecasts. Uh, and the Lord will give me, he'll give me a, a, a word of direction or a word of destiny for the, for the particular month that, that I'm uh, that I'm speaking to, or the month that I'm speaking in, and so that's what uh, that's that's what this month, uh, September. Today is the the month September, so we're entering into a new season. Every month represents a season. That's according to Revelation, where John saw the tree of life, bearing forth fruit, uh, in every month. And that's that's of course a, a prophetic picture of the of the seasons that every month is a season. Now in the natural, we have the four seasons. Good morning, Prophet Quincy. We have the four seasons, but then the months in the, on the Lord's calendar and the Lord's timing. Every month is a season. So the Lord, it's been a few months since the Lord has given me uh, a word. To uh, to declare as a prophetic forecast, and so I'm very I have a great expectation for the month of September. And this is an unusual forecast because normally when the Lord gives me a word, He gives me a word out of the Hebrew calendar, uh, not out of the Gregorian calendar. And so this is the first time, I believe it's the first time that I've ever been given a word for the for the Gregorian month okay and please understand what i'm what i'm saying there's a there's a hebrew calendar which i believe is god's calendar and then there's the Gregorian calendar which which is the calendar for the western world and because we live in the western world our time is determined and it's designed by the calendar that we run so today on the Gregorian calendar it is the first day of september but in the Hebrew calendar, it is, I believe, it's the 27th or the 28th day of the, uh, of the Hebrew month, okay? So what, um, and I've, I've forgotten the name, but we are, we are coming into uh, the month alone, and that will actually start on, uh, I think, sundown on Saturday, the 3rd of September, where we enter into uh, the month of law. And, uh, and the month of law is a very interesting uh, month. But uh, this is the word. God, God told me in August, God told me to start prophesying over August and over September. August is the eighth month. Again, very unusual because the Lord doesn't normally speak to me through the months of our calendar. But the Lord says in the eighth month, that this would be a month of new beginnings because the number eight prophetically represents new beginnings. It represents, and so uh, the Lord had me prophesy that August would be a month of new doors. It would be a, a month of new opportunities. Uh, new things will begin to break forth. I saw that word come to pass in my own life. I, I, I released my ninth book. Uh, we're coming into the ninth month the ninth book, and I, I did it in a new way, completely new way, how I did that book from beginning, from even the time that I wrote it, started to the time that I published it. So this is what, this is what, uh, this is what the Lord uh, put on my heart, that September is a month of birthing. And I do give some explanations as I talk about birth in the article, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and release the word. Thank you for the hearts. Uh, uh, invite some others to join us if you can. Thank you, sir. We thank you, uh, 
uh, Taimuchin for joining us, for uh, being with us this morning. But this is, uh, this is the word that I receive from the Lord for this month. Heaven and earth is, is birthing this month. Angels are being dispatched to serve as midwives to help the Lord's people to bring forth what they are carrying. These angels are opening doors for things to come forth this month. They will impart strength for many of the Lord's people have lost strength and what they have been carrying. These angels are strength givers. Amen. This is a month where the fullness of time is bringing forth the son Jesus who has been formed in his people. This month, many of the Lord's people will experience Galatians 4 and 4, that, that passage is in the fullness of time God sent forth his son, okay? They will birth and build this month. It's a birthing month. It's a building month. Many will birth open doors for others. So this month is not just about you, but it's about the thing that you birth opening doors for others. Movements that causes acceleration in the kingdom will be birthed this month. Watch for new moves of Holy Spirit to come forth this month as heaven is birthing new things. There will be outbreaks of the manifest presence of the Lord this month as kingdom alignments are giving birth. Kingdom alignments. Very important who you are aligned to. Are, are the people you're aligned to kingdom people? There's going to be a manifestation of the presence of the Lord in the midst of those alignments this month. Birth is similar to to breakthrough. This will be a month of breakthroughs. Gates that have been closed by principalities and demons will burst open as, as Jesus goes before his people to bring them into new life. So this is a month of breakthrough. Breakthrough and birthing is, is, is very similar. This month, the windows of heaven are opening to pour out blessings. These blessings will be signs of the birthing in this month, when Jesus was born, the wise man brought him gifts or blessings. These blessings will come out of the bosom of wise men, according to Luke 6 and 38. And men will pour into your, into your bosom. Men will pour into your bosom. That which is shaken down, press, uh, shaken, pressed down. All right, all of that. This month, the Lord is giving words to his prophets that will cause birth. Very important that you pay attention to prophets who are releasing words because they're going to be, and I'm not saying every word, but prophets are going to be releasing words that's going to cause you to birth this month. They will be words that causes the people of the Lord to experience contractions, labor, and birth. These words in this month will be fullness of time words. So they're going to be unusual words. You're going to receive a word from a prophet. It's going to cause a contraction in your spirit. You're going to go into labor. You're going to birth. That's what, that's the, that's what the Lord, uh, uh, that's what I heard the Lord say this morning. Fullness of time. These words are going to bring the people of the Lord into the fullness of time in this month. Watch for these words as they bring you into labor and into birth, all right? And so that's the, that's the word of the Lord. September is a month of giving birth. Of course, uh, giving birth is hard. I've never given birth, that's a joke. But I watched my wife give birth to our son and she went through labor. The contraction started that morning and she went through labor all day into the next day. And our son was born early uh, that Friday morning, uh, somewhere around two o'clock between one and two o'clock. All right. And so even though birthing is hard, it's worth it. Uh, one of the, one of the instructions that I have for you in this month, stand on Galatians six and nine. Do not allow this birthing process to make you weary and lose heart. Stand on Galatians six and nine. All right, where it says, do not be weary in well-doing, but if you don't faint, you will reap. And this is the month where many of the Lord's people are going to reap because reaping and birthing is, a, is very similar. Birthing and breakthrough is very similar. So there's going to be reaping this month 
and there's going to be breakthroughs in this month. All right. And so, Father, I bless this month and I bless your people. And I declare that in the presence of birthing, in the presence of labor and contraction, we shall bring forth what has been growing and developing in us. Yahshua has been growing and developing in us. The hope of glory has been growing and developing in us. Dreams, visions, uh, creative ideas and enterprises. It's now time to give birth to that which is coming forth. I declare that over your people that they shall give birth. They shall not lose strength. Thank you for the angels that you are sending now into the earth as midwives. Midwife angels are coming into the earth to, re to help us to impart strength so that we can bring forth what is in us. We receive the ministry of these, of these angel spirits. We receive them into our lives. We welcome them into our lives in this month to be our midwives. In Yahshua's name, we do pray. Amen. God bless you.